On a farm in South Africa's Heidelberg, Jaco Ace is inspecting his soil. He is among those who are turning to biochar, an activated carbon made from waste wood. It's a quiet shift that could help restore degraded soil while also helping to tackle climate change. Ace grows canola and wheat on hundreds of acres of land. He said that by having more carbon in the soil, the soil will have better water retention capability, resulting in healthier crops. This is biochar. It is extremely light. One of the companies involved in the transition is Regenerate, owned by Clayton Postma. When we have this additional product in the soil versus plain chemical fertilizer, we are actively restoring the soil and putting back micronutrients that the soil may have been robbed of over past generations of farming. At the same time, we're putting this carbon in, although very small quantities, we are seeing a significant difference in the way that the plants respond to that. The biochar is produced in Johannesburg by Adsorb Carbon. Waste wood chips are fed into pyrolysis furnaces, heated to around 1,110 degrees Fahrenheit, and then further activated at up to about 1,650 degrees Fahrenheit. Daryl Phipps, manager of Adsorb, said the biochar can remove carbon from the soil, locking it away for centuries. So it is a really uh, sustainable practice that can uh, at scale, make a, a significant impact to climate change. 